I think it's here. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a little beat up. Expedite. All right, I need two hands. Well, that's not right. All right, I guess this is turning into an unboxing video. One thing that you really can't see online sometimes with this is the sparkle. Mr. Sparkle! With an American Ultra Telecaster, it looks like you get uh, directions on how to select pickups for a Strat. You get the quality control for a Strat. What else we got? Warranty booklet for a Strat. Certificate of authenticity that matches the Strat. Whatever's in here. Uh, certified vendor inspection for a Strat. It sounds like a Strat. A picture of a Telecaster. This is actually really, this is exactly like the one I had probably 15 years ago. You got a, a couple of stickers in there. Get in there. Okay. Let's keep all that together because I assume that this case got switched with a strap. The strap. The strap. The strap. Got a lot of shaky packets, keys. Oh my gosh. Strap locks came with it. This is the first guitar I've ever had that came with strap locks. These are the little nipple kind that you pull. I mean, they all do the same thing. I don't really like the looks of these. I like the looks of the other ones that are flat and they have the button that you push. Looks like we got some stuff for the bridge, which is a key part of why I even bought this thing. Big old truss rod, T-handle hex, keys. Did I say keys? And that's really it. Maybe 15 years ago, I had a 52 reissue Telecaster. It was the butterscotch with the black pickguard and the maple neck. And I think I prefer a maple neck on a guitar, which is funny because that's the only guitar I've ever had with a maple neck. And I ended up trading it shortly after I bought it because it had the bridge with the two, two, and two. And I couldn't get the guitar to intonate to my liking. Um, and it, it eventually wore on me and it, I got so frustrated that I was like, nah, this one is not for me. So, uh, and I didn't want to buy a new bridge and replace the ashtray that was on there because then it would be a uh, 52 reissue mostly with a different bridge, which I thought was silly. Um, so I decided that one day there would be a Telecaster that I liked that would have a bridge that you could intonate every string and I would buy it. So here we are. A um, couple of things that I want to do to this Telecaster right away is I don't like the, the fender strap locks. I'm going to put the other strap locks on there. And uh, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to, and hear me out, I'm going to Jimmy Page Dragon this guitar. Now, this is just like a vinyl decal. I'm not going to, I'm not going to use any of this wood grain. So I'm even going to go as far as to like take a pen knife and, come on now. I'm going to take a pen knife and carve out every little bit. And wherever there's like wood grain showing through, it's actually going to be the blue sparkle. And I think... I think if I do it right and take my time, I think it's going to look really great. I know that it's uh, taking a brand new guitar and dismantling it and disrespecting it, but Disassemble. I think this is the first guitar that's not dear to me, so we're going to go for it. The last thing that I want to do to this guitar immediately is, while well, I've got everything disassembled and I'm putting the dragon on there, what I want to do is hopefully there's room right here to drill into the pickguard and put one of those momentary switches in, and it'll it'll give like the kill switch effect to it where um you know on a les paul you turn one volume all the way up and one all the way down and then you use the three-way toggle up here to to switch between them quickly and it gives you kind of the on off really quick um i have a les paul i've done that on my les paul for years and years but i cringe every time i do it because i feel like i'm all i'm doing is abusing that three-way switch and it's going to wear out eventually and it's going to make me sad but it's going to have the maple neck it's going to have the the momentary switch it's going to have the jimmy page dragon and it's probably going to end up being my favorite guitar so let's try not to screw this thing up and uh let's get to it focus tap come on
Thank you.